Naja Atra, the Chinese cobra, an incredible species of true cobra belonging in the Elapidae family. The incredible hood pattern and unique behaviors make them one of my favorite cobra species. I say this about every snake I talk about, don't I? As with the other species spotlights, we'll start with taxonomy, then general description, geographic location and habitat, behaviors, venom, diet, and then reproduction. Let's get to it, and if you enjoy, click subscribe. The Chinese cobra, also known as Taiwan cobra, is a species of cobra belonging to the genus Naja. Naja is a genus of true cobras. This may sound confusing, but an example for comparison would be the king cobra. The king cobra is not a true cobra. They don't belong in the genus Naja. Instead, they are in their own monotypic genus, Ophiophagus. This species of cobra can get quite large. An average length of Chinese cobras is anywhere from 4 to 5 feet, but can grow up to 6 feet or more, although seeing one this large would be rare. The hood pattern on this species is incredible in my opinion, similar to the spectacle cobra in a way, but more of a horseshoe shape. The body of this species is typically black, but can have slight banding patterns along the back. Just as both common names suggest, this species can be found in China and Taiwan, but their range also extends to Laos and Vietnam. Like many cobras, the Chinese cobra is highly adaptable, leading to a wide range of habitats that they can be found in, such as forested areas, grasslands, mangroves, and agricultural areas. So both natural environments and man-made areas. Just like every species of cobra, the Chinese cobra will spread their hood as a form of defense. They'll hiss loudly and even mock strike, meaning they'll strike with their mouth closed, basically headbutting the potential predator. They resort to these methods in order to avoid confrontation. They'd much rather flee if they have an escape route. This species is terrestrial and typically active during the day or twilight hours. A special behavior some individuals of the species have shown is the ability to fling venom, similar to that of a spitting cobra, but not as accurate. It's said that this species, along with monocle cobras, Naja Kyuthia, have fangs that are slightly modified for spitting. The female Chinese cobra that I have exhibits this behavior when she's defensive, but the male has not flung venom. The Chinese cobra's venom is highly toxic. They contain strong neurotoxic venom, which is used for prey capture. If a person is bitten and envenomated, the availability of antivenin makes a fatality extremely rare. Before the availability of antivenin, bites resulted in a mortality rate of about 15%. Bite symptoms can include pain, swelling, necrosis, and other issues such as fever, difficulty swallowing, weakness, and difficulty breathing. The Chinese cobra feeds on a variety of prey, including small mammals, birds, amphibians, and reptiles, which even includes other snakes. Being an elapid, they have proteroglyph dentition, fangs located in the front of the mouth, but they're short and fixed. They will bite their prey, hold on, and inject the venom. The neurotoxins take effect quickly, paralyzing the prey. Chinese cobras are oviparous, like all species of true cobra, which means that they are egg layers. Females can lay anywhere from as little as four to as many as 20 or more eggs. Once the babies hatch, they are on their own. They're fully equipped with venom and fangs and must fend for themselves. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on the Chinese Cobra. Such an incredible species, but click subscribe, click like, and a big shout out to my channel members. Now if you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a channel member, get exclusive videos, early access to videos, and stuff like that. Be back soon.